There are four ways of solving quadratic equation. One, factorization. Two, using the formula. Three, completing the square. And four, using graphs. If the quadratic cannot be factorized because p squared, uh, b squared minus 4ac is not equal to p squared, perfect square, such as 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared. Therefore, we apply quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is a direct way to get in the roots. Let's solve this quadratic equation by formula. The question is 2x squared minus 3x minus 1 equal to 0, where a equals 2, b is minus 3, and c is minus 1. All we need to do is to plug in those values into the formula. x equals minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So x equals, now plugging in those values, minus minus 3, that is b, plus or minus square root minus 3 squared, that's b squared, minus 4 into bracket 2, that's a, into bracket c, which is minus 1. over 2 into bracket 2. x equals minus times minus is plus, that would be 3, plus or minus square root. Three minus 3 squared is 9, because minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9 minus 1 times minus 2, but minus 1 times 2 is minus 2, minus 2 times minus 4 is plus 8. Therefore, we get 2 times 2, which is 4. Now, x equals 3 plus or minus square root 9 plus 8 is 17 over 4, which implies that x equals to 3 plus root 17 over 4, and x equals 3 minus root 17 over 4. Those are the roots for 2x squared minus 3x minus 1. These answers are in third form. We can find the answer in decimal places. 3 plus root 17 over 4 gives 1.78 into two decimal places or three significant figures. And 3 minus root 17 over 4 gives minus 0 
0.28 into two decimal places. Right, solving the quadratic equation with this example, example two. The general equation for quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. If we're solving it, we're setting y equal to zero. Therefore, a is one, b is three, and c is one. It is obvious that p squared minus 4ac is not equal to p squared. Therefore, this is not sub, um, factorizable. Because it's not factorizable, it is easy to use the formula. x equals minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. You plug in the values of a, b, and c. Minus 3 plus or minus square root 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1 over 2 times 1. Because a is 1, c is 1. The x equals minus 3 plus or minus square root 9 minus 4 over 2. And that equals x equals minus 3 plus root 5 plus or minus over 2. So x equals minus 3 plus root 5 over 2 or minus 3 minus root 5 over 2 which implies which implies that this is the sort form of the answer x equals minus 0 0.38 in two decimal places or minus 2.62 in two decimal places. These are the roots or solution to the quadratic equation above. Example three, one side of a rectangle is two meter longer than the other. The area in meter squared of the rectangle is twice twice its perimeter in meter. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. So solution, we can say one side equals x meter and the other side equals x plus 2 meter. Now, the area equals x, x plus 2 meters squared. So that's x times x plus 2 meters squared. The perimeter equals, well, so we add in all, all the four sides, x plus x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 2, and that gives 
4x plus 4. But area is 2 times perimeter, which is 2 times 4x plus 4. Therefore, x into bracket x plus 2 times will be equals 2 into bracket 4x plus 4. So expanding the brackets x squared plus 2x equals 8x plus 8 x squared plus 2x minus 8x minus 8 equal to 0 x squared minus 6x minus 8 equal to 0 Solving by the formula, A is 1, B is minus 6, and C is minus 8. Therefore, we have X equals minus minus 6 plus or minus square root minus 6 squared minus 4 into bracket 1 into bracket minus 8 over 2 times 1. So we get x equals 6 plus or minus root 36 plus 32 over 2 and that will be equal to 6 plus or minus root 68 over 2. Now, root 68 is 2 root 17 because 17 times 4 is 68 and root of 4 is 2. So that is 6 plus or minus root 17 times 4 over 2 which is 6 plus minus root 4 times root 17 over 2 and that will be equal to x equal to 6 plus or minus 2 root 17 over 2. Now 2 is a common factor, both, both uh, top and denominator. So that will be given as 3 plus or minus root 17. And that, be, that implies that x equals 3 plus root 17 or
3 minus root 17. Now root of 17 that equals 4.12. So 4.12 plus 3 so I'll say 3 plus root 17, punch that into calculator. So that will be 7.12 meters. And 3 minus root 17. That would be a negative value. So x cannot be a negative value. So the dimension using x will be x will be equal to. So when x equals to, let's put it this way. I'll take that back and say now for the dimension. When x equals to 7.12 meters, the other side will be equal to 9.12 meters.